please don't be stingy with this knowledge and never to share with your friends and subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos now i'm going to i'm going to be proceeding with more questions calculations actually as regards to velocity time graph in motion now let's take a ride draw a velocity time draw a, a graph of velocity against time for a body which starts with an initial velocity of 4 meter per second and continues to move with an acceleration of 1.5 meter per second square for 6 seconds now from the graph determine the average velocity then again determine the distance moved in the 6 seconds now we are going to we are going to solve this by first of all making a sketch of the velocity time graph like we used to do now this is the sketch now of course here we have the time in seconds and over here we have the velocity in meter per seconds now from the question that the body starts with an initial velocity of four meter per seconds four meter per seconds remember this is the zero region when the body starts at rest but for this body it starts at a velocity of four meter per seconds meaning that i can now remember it's a sketch i can now choose what this four meter per seconds to be anywhere here taking it to be to, this, to, to be this point I will name it what? 4. Now, this body accelerates or moved with an acceleration of 1.5 meter per second square for 6 seconds. Now, this is a velocity time graph and acceleration is now into play. Now, what are we going to do? We have to convert what? The acceleration to what? Velocity. How do we do that? Velo acceleration A is given as what? As change in velocity all over time, which is what? Final velocity minus initia all over time. If I cross multiply this, I'll be having that Final minus initial is equal to what? This. So that from here, I'll be having that word that this is what? This plus what? That is initial velocity plus what? Multiplication of acceleration and time. Now, from the question, the final velocity, that's what we are solving for, which is V, will be equal to the initial velocity. The initial velocity is 4 from the question. Now, we have 4 plus what? The acceleration is what? 1.5. 1.5 times what? The time, which is what? 6. So this will give us what? 4 plus what? 4 plus 1.5. Let's go for this. Now 1.5 multiplied by 6 will be giving us what? 9. So this is what? 13 meter per what? Seconds. So that means that the body, that means that the body moved, that means that the body moved what? With an acceleration of 1.5, with an acceleration of 1.5 for 6 seconds. So that is moving from 4 to what? 13. Because we have converted the acceleration to what? 13 meter per second. So we are going to have something like this. Now, this is what? The 13. And that happened what? In 6 seconds. That happened in 6 seconds. So this is what? Our graph. That's what our graph will look like. Now, the first question, the average velocity. Now, whenever you hear the word... Whenever you hear the word average, average means what? Total. Now, velocity is what? Velocity is what? Distance all over time. So, for us to obtain what? The average velocity. We are going to be solving for the total distance divided by the total time. That's what we are going to be doing. So, how do we determine our distance from this graph? Remember, for distance in a velocity time graph, we consider the area under the graph. Now, from this graph, we are having what? A trapezium so i will simply solve for the area of the trapezium once i obtain the area i have obtained what the distance now our trapeziums can take different positions it can look this way our, tra our trapezium can look this way it can also look this way so whichever form it takes or whichever position it takes it is still what a trapezium now, solving for the area of the trapezium. Solving for the area of the trapezium, we are going to be having what? 1 all over 2. In brackets. Remember, the summation of the two opposite sides. Which is what? From this point to this point, which will give us what? 4 plus from this point to this point, which is 13. From this point to this point, is same as saying what? From this point to this point, which is what? 13. Then, multiplied by the distance, which is from this point to this point, which will give us what? 6. Now, this is what? 1 all over 2 in brackets. This will give us what? 17. Then multiply by what? The distance. Which is what? 
This into this will give us 1. Into this will give us 3. 3 times 17 will be giving us 3 into 7 will give us what? 21. 1. 3 into 1 will give us what? 3 plus what? 2. That will give us what? 51. So this is what? 51 meters. Now for our average velocity, average velocity, average velocity, that will be what? Total distance, which is what? Total distance all over what? Total time. Total distance now is what? 51. All over our total time. That happened in what? In 6 seconds. Total time is what? 6 seconds. So 51 divided all of 51 all over 6 will be giving us will be giving us 8.5. So this is what? 8.5 meter per what? Seconds. That is the average velocity. Average means total. Average means total. Now, average velocity is total distance all over total time because velocity itself is distance all over time. Now, the next question, the next question is asking for what? It's asking for the distance moved in 6 seconds. We have already obtained that, which is what? 51 meters. Distance moved in the 6 seconds is what? 51 meters. Thank you. I'll meet you again. Another question now, but this time around, this is a wire question. Please listen attentively. A body at rest is given an initial uniform acceleration of 6 meters per second square for 20 seconds, after which the acceleration is reduced to 4 meters per second square for the next 10 seconds. The body maintains the speed attained for 30 seconds. Draw the velocity time graph of the motion using the information given above. From the graph, calculate the I maximum speed attained during the motion. II, total distance traveled during the first 30 seconds. III, the average speed during the same time interval as in II above. Okay, now, first of all, let's take a ride. We are going to start by what? Making a sketch of what? This graph. Now we are going to be having this. The time is in seconds and the velocity in meter per seconds now from the question from the question a body at rest is given an initial uniform acceleration of six meter per second square for 20 seconds six meter per second square for 20 seconds now this is a velocity time graph so this these values these values that are given are going to be converted to velocity so that we'll be able to represent it on a velocity time graph. So for 6 meter, it started from rest with an initial acceleration of 6 meter per second square for 20 seconds. So converting, converting that, there is a formula, I've already explained this before, that acceleration is what? In final velocity minus initial, all over what? All over time. So from here, I'm going to be having that V, which is the final velocity, is equal to initial plus what? The multiplication between acceleration and what? Time. Now, this body started from rest. The body started from rest. So, when a body starts from rest, the initial velocity is what? Zero. So, this is going to be what? Zero plus what? The 6 meter, zero plus the 6 meter per second square times what? The time for that, which is what? 20. So, this will be giving us what? This will be giving us 120 meter per second. So, it started from rest. It started from rest and accelerates. It started from rest and accelerates with a uniform acceleration of six meter per second square of six meter per second square for twenty seconds. So starting from rest, we are going to take it from this point to what to one twenty because we have already converted the acceleration to what velocity. So we are going to be having this. Then we name this point one twenty. Now and that happened in what that happened in 20 seconds now we continue after which the acceleration is reduced the acceleration is now reduced to four meter per second square for the next 10 seconds four meter per second square for the next 10 seconds now our final velocity v because we are going to convert it to what velocity our final velocity v will now be what u plus what 80 now the initial velocity the initial velocity at this point, because now it, it has gotten to what? 120. So continue from there now. Our initial velocity will be what? 120. 
Because it started from rest and got to 120. It started from rest and got to 120. Now, and continued. But now the acceleration is what? Reduced. So at this point, our initial velocity will be what? 120. So 120 plus what? 120 plus the multiplication between the acceleration. The acceleration is what? 4. The acceleration is 4. The acceleration is 4 for the next 10 seconds. So that will now be what? 4 times what? 10. This is now 120 plus what? 40, which will give us what? 160. So that's what we're going to be having. Now the acceleration was reduced. We are going to be having this. At this point, this will be giving us what? 160. That, that is the final velocity when the acceleration was what? Reduced. Now, and that happened in 10 seconds. So for our time now, 10 seconds. But for time, for time region, we usually add it to the previous. So 20 plus 10 will give us what? That will give us 30. Okay, now the body maintains the speed attained for 30 seconds. For our uniform speed, it looks this way. For the next what? For the next 30 seconds. So that happened in what? In 30 seconds. Remember for our time, we add. So this will give us 60. 30 plus 30 will give us what? 60. Now, we should draw the velocity time graph of the motion. Okay, we have already done that. This is the graph. This is the graph. Now, from the question, the maximum speed attained during the motion. It is already on the board. I, our maximum speed, mx, maximum speed is what? 160. We have already obtained that. For our ii, the total distance traveled during the first 30 seconds. The total distance traveled during the first 30 seconds. Now, this is our first 30 seconds. From this point to this point is our first 30 seconds. So, how do we obtain what? The total distance. Remember that distance in a velocity time graph is obtained by considering what? The area under the graph. The area under the graph. Now, there are, we can do this in two ways. This is the figure that we are going to be considering. And from this figure, we have what? Part of it is a right angle triangle. And the other is what? A trapezium. So we are going to be solving for the area of what? Area of the triangle. Add it to the area of the trapezium to obtain what? The total distance traveled for the first 30 seconds. Now, let's go. For the distance now, I will solve for the area. Area of the triangle plus what? Area of the trapezium. Now, area of the triangle is what? It has a general formula, which is half base times what? The height, which will now be half times what? The base from this point to this point. From this point to this point is the base, which is what? 20. So that is half times 20 times what? The height. The height is from this point to this point, which is same as what? From this point to this point, which is what? 120. So 120 plus what? Area of a trapezium is given as what? As half in bracket, the sum of the two opposite sides. This is the trapezium that we have now. That's the trapezium that we have now. So from this point to this point is 120 as well. One of the sides of the trapezium, which is what? 120 plus from this point to this point, which is the corresponding opposite side, is 160. Then times what? The height. The height is from this point to this point. From this point to this point is the height, which we are going to obtain from which we are going to obtain, obtain by subtracting what the two values, this minus this, thirty minus twenty, which will give us ten. That is the height of the trapezium. So from this point into this will give us what one into this will give us ten. So ten times this will give us what one two zero zero plus what. This is half in bracket. One hundred twenty plus one sixty will be giving us what one eighty. Then times the height, which is what? 10. Sorry, this will be giving us 280 and not 180. 120 plus 160 will be giving us 280. So 2 into this will give us 1. Into this is what? 5. So this is now what? 1, 2 plus the multiplication. Plus the multiplication between what? 280 and what? 5. Which will, give you, which will be giving us what? 1,400. So this is now what? 1, 2 plus 1, 4, which will be giving us what? 1, 6. 
which, which will be giving us two six meters. So that is the total distance. That is the total distance traveled for the first 30 seconds. The summation of the area of what? Of the right angle triangle plus what? The trapezium. Now for III, we have the average speed. The average speed during the, the same time interval as in II above. The average speed, the average speed for the same time interval as II above. So average speed, III now, average speed is what? Whenever you hear the word average, it means total. Average speed is given as speed itself is given as what? Distance all over time. So now average has been added, which will now be what? Total distance all over what? Total time. So our total distance all over total time, total distance for the for II above, which is for the first 30 seconds, is given as what? As two Cs. So we now have two Cs all over what? The total time, which is what? 30. So this is what we have now. Two Cs divided by 30. Let's calculate that. That will give us what? 86.67 meter per second. That is the average speed. As in II, as, that is the average speed for the same time interval as the II above. I'll meet you again. Thank you.